So, guys, let's talk about this real quick. The Hot Toys Chrome the Mandalorian. And the mm -hmm. reason I wanted to bring this up, someone dropped this to me in a comment. I probably wouldn't have known that this was even happening, but uh, it went back on pre-order for the collector's edition, right? Mm. And the reason I bring this up is because I've, I've seen this sentiment expressed a lot, that people don't trust that Sideshow is waitlisting these things and it's actually real. So I think this True. is a bad look for them because people are going to look at this and be like, I knew Sideshow was playing games. I knew I'm not going to pre-order again. So I feel mm. like even right. maybe the more savvy people, maybe the people who don't watch these type of YouTube shows or live streams, they don't know and they don't care. But I think for some people who see this type of stuff, you're like, well, it was on wait list. So what, when's Peacemaker going to come back, right? Or when's Kate right. Bishop? Like what's right. next? So I get Mando was announced way sooner and it's coming out sooner, but I think this type of thing that Saichu has done many times kind of backfires in a sense because then people start to say like, if, if you're trying to like incentivize pre-orders and create a little FOMO, this does the opposite because then you look at yeah. it and you're like, well, right. Like why would, I'm not going to buy, I'm not going to call, I'm going to call your bluff basically. I'm, I'm like, I might not get the figure, but I feel like there's a chance you might put it back up for pre-order. I don't think that's the case. I think they are. I think this is real. I think yeah. what they're doing is real. I think Mando is just the exception because it was announced so long ago and it's so popular. So I think it's a little bit different, but I don't think, well, see, I'm it, not convinced Peacemaker is coming back, Leo, but what do the you reason why, like that? What do you think? The reason why I think this is, I, I can't say that it's, the reason why I think it's it's a it's the it, the thing is it's a whole it everything's a look it's a mm -hmm. bad look I yeah. say that for for the simple fact that number one what did we see like at one point I, all right I bring up cable so when cable dropped there was the regular edition deluxe version with yeah. the shield okay with the energy shield that energy shield went on wait list like literally that one went on wait list but the regular version was available. When the figure was released, then they took the regular version off wait list. Now, that could have happened for multiple different reasons. People yeah. decided to cancel that order, go for the regular version. Could have did that. But it's the simple fact that those premature, you know, it's like it's a reaction for them. Their reaction is, okay, wait a minute. People are leaning towards this. We don't have enough in stock. Let's wait list it. Let's just see how many people we get. It's not going to look good because it's, it's like people who may not be able to afford it at that time or may not even be able to afford it. And then RD will put money down on these figures thinking that, OK, this is the only chance I have. And then you take it off wait list. But that's definitely not a good look. It's not. I don't care how you basically anybody try or, or sideshow tries to spin it. That's definitely not a good look. If it happens, if you if you if you're not absolutely sure that you want a wait list or that you're going to have the stock to kind of match, you know what I mean? Then don't, you know, don't, don't be quick to re really react, wait, wait things out and just see how it's going to actually go. Give people a fair chance because yeah. this, it just looks to me like, okay, they're just trying to get as much money as they actually can on a figure at that point. Like, you know what I mean? They know that we ourselves as content creators have been pushing this whole don't pre-order movement. So what they're doing right now is saying, okay, all right, well, if you're not, and based on the simple fact that we have already ordered this this much, you know what I mean, our batches are this particular size, we have to kind of, you know, residual gain is a must. So we're going to try to get that money as quickly as possible. So what they do is they wait list it and put that notification out there, add that blue strip, whatever, letting people think that, again, it's low stock, get it while you can. And then when you do it, once it's fulfilled or they fulfill just enough, they'll wait a couple weeks or about a week and say, all right, let's just put it back up. Thinking yeah, that you're, right. you're not really going to, uh, uh, or, or no one's going to see it. You know what I mean? Come on, man, stop. stop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Leo. It nope. just kind of, and I get it's a business at the end of the day. They want to sell yeah, yeah. as many units as they can, but it's just, th this type of thing where they're, I guess, trying to change people's mentality where, and normally I wouldn't care as much about this, but if they're trying to change everyone's mentality yeah. where like, we want to incentivize you and convince you to pre-order again, this does the opposite of that. Yeah. So if you're trying to drive yeah. home that message, then a very popular figure like this actually sends the opposite message. Mm -hmm. It sends conflicting messages and then people mm -hmm. get confused. So mm -hmm. Riley, what do you think about this? So I'm, yeah, I'm kind of on both sides here. Like, because for instance, I mean, yeah, this one did go back on pre-order, so I do get why. Yeah, it's definitely a bad look. I'm just like more like convinced otherwise, though, because the, I mean, the Peacemaker for first started, like you said, the Peacemaker. I think that was late listed like three months ago, like a long time ago. It's been a couple months, and I mean, we still haven't seen it come back on pre-order. So it is kind of strange how this one specifically would come back. I mean, I think, like you said, Will, that's a good like point. How this is probably a more popular character, so. Sideshow is just like, okay, we're just going to get another like batch anyways. Let's just click the non-wait list and put it back on pre-order because we're going to get another batch of this guy because, I mean, it's the Mandalorian. It's going to get a lot of orders. So I'd probably say that would be more towards their direction. But 
one like main point that I'd say about all this, I just wish that Sideshow would kind of more communicate what they're actually doing rather than just doing like these wait lists and not wait lists and then coming back. Like, I think in my opinion, it would be a, a lot smarter for Sideshow to say like, okay, given the, the economy right now and, and with certain batch sizes and stuff, we're going to make sure that we're trying to order like as much, I mean, as little as we can at the moment or we can, like, like address that these wait lists are actually wait lists rather than it mm-hmm. just being like, oh, it's just a wait list and maybe it'll be here, maybe it'll be here. I just think that it, it kind of gets, gets com- collectors, even me, like confused. Like, should I pre-order or should I not? Like, I think it would be a lot smarter for Sideshow to just kind of address the issue that so, collectors are having. That's what do I you say. think they should put up like a quantity size per order? Like, okay, this, like for I instance, mean, I'll give you an example, yeah. Kate Bishop. Okay, we're only going yeah. to get X amount of, of, of these, uh, excuse me, I had to burn. of these particular <laughs> figures. I did. Um, X My amount of these you. particular figures live on TV, right? These <laughs> amount of figures. Um, so here's your chance to basically secure the asset. That's just like, for instance, we're going to go into that a little bit later, uh, I guess. But with the right. uh, uh, um, third party figures, with yep. that role, yep. that's exactly yeah. what they did. They gave you an that's addition true. size. So you had a chance to really order. You know that they were only making 300. Mm-hmm. So that was valid. Right. You know what I mean? At that point. Now, if they sell out and if the demand's there and they decide to basically recast, do it again, then that's 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 cool. But at least they let you know in the very beginning, this is how much or how many was available. With Sideshow, you have no idea. With Hot Toys, you really have no idea. So yeah. to, to put right. these out there, get all these pre-orders or let us know. It's like now, it's like for figures that you want. Like, for instance, um, I was just looking here, good for health. He said, yo, they got me with that, that, uh, uh, with that goblin. I yep. wanted the DX and it's still up. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. they put it out there like it was selling out, but now it's still there for a lot of people. So it's like, okay, right. I mean, is that what you want to do? Is that the type of mentality or the behavior or perpetuation that you want to sell to these, you know, to customers that when they see this, it's like they don't know whether or not they should push it or 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 not. Like they should get right. it or maybe just, you know what I mean? Because it's now like, especially if a figure that you really, really want. You know, if yeah, you really, really yeah. want something, what are you going to do at that point? Like you have yeah. to or do you if you think it's if there's enough demand for it, you're going to have to try to either say because for me, that best man, Luke, I was like, yeah, maybe I have to right away. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I yeah. don't know right. and I don't want to risk that, bro. But when you yeah. see stuff like this, it's like, yo, you're you're selling the false narrative bro well and that that's kind of my thing leo sideshow has always got a little bit of heat from that but i guess in the days where everything was like in the last couple years everything has been so plentiful and oversaturated that we really haven't cared because you can still get it pretty much whenever but now sideshow i think is taking a new approach and creating a new mentality you're trying to get people to pre-order again but when this type of stuff is happening, then you people were like, oh, they're, they're unwilling to sort of recognize what you want them to recognize, like what you're showing them, because I get what you're saying Riley, yeah, about yeah. communication. And I agree. I think with Sideshow and Hot Toys, they've just shown consistently that they're not going to do it. So to me, it's like right. I just have to trust what they're showing us. And that's the problem. Yeah. Like when they do this, it shows opposite messaging. So and that that's my whole point with this. Like, I just feel like, yeah, this is an older figure that is maybe before they started doing all this stuff. But. Um, sometimes right. it's as simple as it was a website glitch, right? But yeah. but that's still like that needs to be resolved because you're convincing people to pre-order because you're getting that FOMO and then they feel kind of duped a little bit. And that that's yeah, and that's kind of what I think is is negative. Yeah, they're probably still gonna buy it at the end of the day. Yeah. But you don't want to upset your customers like that. So like it's right. it's it's just not ideal. So to me, I don't know, this Mandalorian, um, I'm going to get it, but I, I I waited on this, Riley, and you know that because I yeah. was just kind of like, you know what, I'll, I'll wait for the deluxe because the deluxe was still there. And Leo, like you mentioned with, I think it was Good for Health said about Goblin, like that Goblin's been marked as low stock for a while. I mean, it's yeah, been it's like maybe three weeks. a week or two. There. Like, I mean, yeah. yeah, and like maybe just people aren't buying it. I don't know, but I mean. Well, maybe, uh, and I thought about that. I'm like, well, maybe it's still in stock, maybe. you know, and it's still available because again, they did, you know, give us the 2.0, that Goblin version, I mean, the, um, the Hobo version. Right, so that right. one dropped. Maybe people are paying more, you know, attention to that one, closer attention right. to that one than they are this one. Because yeah. I know I am. I still didn't pre-order it yet, but if it yeah. gets that to that point where it says low stock, but oh, yeah. what I might do again, because Ray, underground figures, that's my guy. That's nice. my go to. I yeah. hit up Ray. Hey, Ray, can you put that goblin on um, you know, on my list, please? Yeah, I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. There you there go. There you go. So that's that's, that's my go to. I go to him, he'll have it available for me. At least I know there's full transparency with Ray. He'll hit me yeah. up sometimes and be like, Hey, I'm getting this in stock. Is this a figure that you might be interested in? Oh, hell yeah. Do you want me to add it? Yes. 
Thank you. That's just the way it is. You know what yeah. I mean? He's fully transparent. Ray underground figures all day, every day. <laughs> you know? yeah, that's but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. That's what we like. We like transparency. Not that we, you know, that I don't want to act entitled, but at least I know that I have the confidence in the company. Not saying that Shy Show doesn't instill a level of confidence because with their customer service, we know they are plus sign when it comes to that. Yeah, yeah. They but really it's are. just a simple fact that when we come, when it comes to something like this, it's like jumping a the gun, then to find out that you didn't have to jump the gun. I oh, mean, it's like, right. you know, it's like Riley promised you a churro and then you open the box <laughs> and it's just the dough uncooked. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? And, and exactly. yeah, to, to wrap up the thoughts on this one, I would say that typically, yeah, like if you wanted to figure anyway and you just happen to pre order it, that yeah. then there's no problem there. I just think the, the issue comes into play here, the cat. The issue comes into play. <laughs> that was me. Oh, was it you? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I wasn't looking at the screen, or it was a meow. <laughs> so, but um, I basically, I would just say the issue comes into play like with the messaging, like consistency matters. Yeah. So, right, right, um, right. so, anyway, guys, great thoughts on that one.